Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside my Cal Poly Pomona Blackboard course. I've created an assignment. Um, the student at this point would be able to log into their account, submit their assignment, and have it run through our repositories. Our student paper repository has over, has over 750 million student papers. We also partner with all of the major public publishers and journals so that we have access to their material as well that we can check. And we also crawl the web and have 60 billion plus web pages archived that we're constantly crawling more every day. So that, that is our repository that's available to you and for your students when they submit their papers. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume uh, that a student has submitted a paper. And rather than go through all of Turnitin Classic Live, I've taken a couple of screenshots in PowerPoint that we can take a look at so that I can, we can both be on the same page without having to cover two separate uh, views. So this first shot here you can see, I have some arrows and some circles. This is the classic view that you're probably used to if you've used this in the past. We have our originality, which is what we're seeing here, this highlighting. And you see that we see a match over here. This is our originality score of 100%. And then we have grade mark and we have peer mark. <clears throat> In the new view, which you'll see, these are laid out differently. Um, one of the big differences, if you're used to using this already, is that if you want to use originality, you can have that on. If you want to use grade mark, originality turns off, and then you get to see the grade mark view. In the new Feedback Studio, you can run these two simultaneously so that they overlap each other. And we'll take a look at that in a bit. Then you'll also notice the peer mark is circled. Peer mark is no longer accessible through Feedback Studio. So if you're using peer mark, it is something you'll be accessing and using through Blackboard and not through Feedback Studio. Okay. Uh, we also, you can see over here, this arrow for our match overview for our originality. We have the ability to toggle from match overview to all sources view. That's these two buttons, if you remember. These new buttons are in a different place, in Feedback Studio, which we'll see. And we also see down here these uh, options here as well, such as filtering and exclusions. These are also still available in the new Feedback Studio. They're just not in this area anymore. Likewise, text-only report does not exist down here in the corner, which you'll see. It's now something that you access by pressing the tab key inside Feedback Studio. Likewise, for these items down here, the paper information button, this I, uh, we have in a new area. The iPad app and the ability to print, still all options, they're just, you'll just find them in a different area. They'll no longer be down in the left-hand corner. If I jump back to our grade mark view, you can see when you have grade mark on, these purple items here, this is the ETS E-Rater that checks for the grammar, mechanics, uses, and style. This still exists, but they are actually their own layer, just like grade mark and originality, so that you can have these separate or overlapping. At, in the classic view, once you turned on grade mark, you also got the ETS Rater automatically. Now you can turn it off if you want to. And then likewise down here, you'll see this red arrow this is where you access to all of these items and options. These still exist, they're just in a different place in the new Feedback Studio look, okay? So you still have access to pretty much everything. It's just gonna look a little bit different. Any questions about the classic view? And we'll toggle back and forth if you need me to. Uh, but before I jump into what Feedback Studio looks like, does anyone have any questions? Okay, if something pops up, just let me know. So now I'm going to toggle over to what Feedback Studio looks like. So as you can see, we've rebranded it. We have Feedback Studio. Here's our score, same place. If you have multiple students and multiple papers, you can toggle through those students by clicking on this dropdown. So you don't have to close it out and open it up for every single student. You can move through the students one by one or choose them. Or you can click the little arrow sign and it'll move you to the next student's paper. We have this little question mark over here. Before we had, in the classic view, uh, you had the ability to click on roadmap and give us your feedback. Let us know maybe what you want changed or what you really liked. In the new view, you now have this question mark over here, and if you click on that, we give you a little bit more. Popular articles, how to interpret the similarity report, rubrics and grading forms, commenting tools, layers, and then also still the ability to provide feedback. 
So if you find anything that you don't like or you've got some great ideas of how we can improve things, please let us know. We're always looking to make things better. Okay. Over here, you have the ability to, you can scroll, but you also have the ability to jump ahead one page at a time if you want to by clicking on this little icon over here. If you're someone who liked that text only report that was available in the classic view, if you click the tab button, you're able to get to the text only report by clicking the tab button and navigating to the text only similarity report. So I click on that opens up the text only report that is available to you as well. Okay. I'm going to jump back to our feedback studio and close that out. Just like in the classic view, you have the ability to enter in a score if you want to. And that will filter down back into Blackboard for you. So let's assume we've just opened this paper as an instructor. You can see the layout from before in the classic view. We had originality score, grade, book, uh, grade mark, and peer mark. Now we have these layers over here. So if I click on this top button, it shows us our active layers. Just like before in the top corner where we could choose each one. Similarly, you can choose to turn on grading, you can choose to turn on similarity, and you can choose to hit E-Rater. And when you hit E-Rater, oops, sorry about that. When you hit E-Rater, you'll notice your purple E-Rater comments pop up. Keep in mind this is artificial intelligence, but it's going to bring your attention to things that you might want to take a closer look at. But it's up to you if you want to turn these off. What's nice about it, before if you remember, you could have similarity on in the classic view, but as soon as you turned on grading, similarity turned off and grading and E-Rater turned on. Now you have the ability to run them all at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave these all on. And I'm going to close down the active layers. Keep in mind, if you want your students to be able to see your comments, you need to have these all checked if you want them to see everything you see. If I was to uncheck this, students' comments would not show up on their side. So make sure that these are active.